Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's DIY is inspired by this giant carrot I found at Hobby Lobby. We're gonna do it for a quarter of the price. It's so cute and it's perfect for spring. All right guys, so for supplies, what we're gonna need is a cone of your um, liking. This one is a paper mache cone. You can see the bottom is out. I got this during the holiday season at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure they carry these year round, if not Michael's. Um, this one is a 15 inch diameter, so it's pretty long as you can tell. So we're gonna get that good extra long carrot look. Um, if, if you couldn't find these or pick your mache in solid, you could always use the long cones, the styrofoam cones that Hobby Lobby has, or you could just get craft paper and roll your own. You know how you can kind of, um, like we did projects as a kid, roll them, use the corners, pull in and roll, and you would have a cone as well. It's not gonna be as sturdy, um, but it could still work. You'll get the same look. So again, 15 inches. You're gonna need the rope. I got this from the dollar store. This is the thicker one, as you can tell. And then there's the thinner one. So the thinner one is 9.5 inches. It's this brand, again, from the dollar store. And the thicker one is eight feet. So you're gonna need a couple of each to do this project. And then you're gonna need for the raffia at the top of the carrot, you're gonna need different shades. I got dark green and then this is kind of like a lighter green because I'm bougie and I want mine to be like mixed, but you definitely don't need both. So these are both from the dollar store as well. And then you're gonna need something for in here so that when we put this in, we could put our uh, raffia on there and it's gonna stay nicely. You don't need this, this piece. You could just put paper there. Um, obviously you would get a piece of paper, trace it, and then you could put that inside. But I just happen to have this on hand, so I'm gonna use this. So this is just under four inches all around and just about two inches thick. And that's just, again, gonna be hot glued in here. And then we could use our greenery and stick it in there pretty easily. And then of course, you're gonna need your hot glue okay so that's basically everything oh we do need one more thing we need orange acrylic paint that's so that we can paint our carrot obviously orange which most carrots are if you don't want to do orange um, you could always do something funky you could do different colors maybe pastels would be cute pink would be cute or just leave it this natural color this is very like barn wood farmhouse style so whatever works for you but that is generally the um, ingredients or supplies that you're gonna need to make this awesome project so let's get started all right y'all so let's start we're gonna take our cone and our little round piece or if you have paper whatever you're gonna do whatever you're gonna put in this bottom piece I'm just gonna go ahead and take some hot glue Go around the inside just where you know that piece is gonna be it actually you should use low temp if you're gonna use styrofoam just because it tends to um eat away at the styrofoam i'm just gonna push that in there it stays on its own because of the diameter but i just want to make sure it's extra secure so just like that I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue around the inside. Just like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some of my brown thicker rope and I'm just going to go ahead and go around here and glue that in. And that fits around the side nicely. Just like that. And this is just to kind of make it look a little nicer on the bottom and fill in some of those gaps. You don't have to do this. You could just use, like we said, the paper, or whatever you're gonna cover the bottom with and paint it brown. Just 
Not push it in so it stays. Then we're gonna cut that there and let it dry. All right guys, so we wanna start prepping the top, which is gonna be this, right? So we wanna imagine it's gonna have the grass like a carrot wood here. So what we wanna do is we wanna start prepping our raffia. So what this is the light one, obviously, and then we have the darker one. So, and I wanna mix them too, cause I just want them to kind of look natural. So this stuff, I don't know if you've ever worked with this, it can be a mess when it comes off of the bulk. So just try and keep it all together. Um, what I'm gonna do just to make it easier for myself since I'm using a styrofoam piece on the inside is to take a bunch of it, right? And then pull one strand so it's kind of like the, the leader of the group. So I'm gonna hold this here. I'm gonna take my hot glue just towards the bottom anywhere. Put a bunch of hot glue like that. I'm gonna take this piece and wrap it so it almost becomes like a tie for the whole thing. And you'll see why in a minute. I'm just kind of hold it there for a minute. Let it dry. See how it kind of created like a hold? Cause it could get really wild. Now I'm gonna take a toothpick because again, I'm gonna go through the bottom. I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna put another piece, or excuse me, some more hot glue. I'm gonna take my toothpick and kind of push it. And they have them breaking, but that's okay. I just need the pointy tip to kind of create like that so that when I have my styrofoam, I could just push that, you'll see like that. You see how it kind of provides like a 3D look so that it's not just like sitting there glued, it kind of is standing. So personally, that's how I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna create a bunch of them. You'll see I did one on this one already. There's the toothpick. Toothpick here. I'm just gonna create a bunch of these. Um, probably maybe for the dark, for the light, and then a couple combos where I combine them. So I'm gonna work on those. You don't need me to do that. That's just how I do it. We're gonna create a bunch of those so we have the top and then we're gonna move on to the base. All right, guys, so now that we have our base in here, I just went ahead and again, I added that rope around and it is the thinner rope just because I have more of it. And then I have this little space here to work with for the top when we put the raffia. So we're gonna start on actually putting the rope around our cone. This is the back, you can see it has a slight crease there. I'm gonna keep that just as a starting point. And so I have my thin rope and I have my thick rope and I definitely have more of the thin. So I'm just gonna work with what I got, but I wanna alternate mine. You could just do it all thin around or you can do the thicker one all around. Um, I, I was gonna do the thick all the way around, but then I started mixing it um, with the thinner one too. And I kind of like the alternating um, cord. So I'm gonna start with the thin. I'm just gonna put this down and I'm gonna start and I'm literally just gonna go around and glue it. So just start with a little bit here. Make yourself a little line. And you know how hot glue is, it dries so quick. So you wanna try and work rather quick, get it right to the end and just push down. I should probably put on one of those little hot glue finger things. These are really good. These are from the dollar store. Um, just cause I, <laughs> I burned myself. And then you're just gonna keep going around. Ah, running out of glue so quick. Pushing down and keeping it right along the edge. And you wanna obviously hold it up, make sure you're straight. I'll turn on my glue so quick. Oh my word, I need to get the long glue stuck. All right, so then you're gonna go along. Very self-explanatory, but I just wanna get through 
doing one strip with you. In these, I'm sure I'll stick a clip in. Um, what they were inspired by are those big Hobby Lobby ones that are oversized carrots. They are $24.99 full price. And so with the coupon, or coupon, with their little discount, they come out like under 20 bucks. I think they're like $17.99, $16.99. But still, these you can make for, I think this was two, this was probably $3 total, like five bucks. So for $15, you could make three of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So just like that, you're gonna go around. So let's cut this here. This rope could be a pain. Ooh, that actually went pretty, pretty easy. And then that end piece, I'm just gonna lift and push. I'll probably go in with like a lighter and um, fray the ends. Just like that. Now, this was the thinner one. So, I wanna show you the alternating with the thick one, you're gonna start in the same spot. And we are going to glue this down here. A heaping amount, just cause those end pieces are frayed. So I wanna make sure that they stay. And we're just gonna push and make sure it's on there good. And then same thing, you're just gonna go around and use your cord and just push it in. So I'm gonna estimate if you're gonna alternate yours, I would say you're gonna need two of the larger ropes two of the larger thickness and two of the smaller ones. You could probably actually get away with one of the smaller ones because it's quite a bit on there. Um, but I also like the look of the carrots with the full, like the thicker one just going around. So in that case, I would think you would need probably three of them, three of the packs. And right to that end piece. And now the thicker one is a little bit harder to cut. Now you just want to put some glue, push, just like that. Okay. So we're going to just keep alternating, thinner, thicker, thinner, thicker, and then I will be back once I have most of that completed. All right, guys. So after you wrap the whole thing, this is what it should look like. So I went all the way around, as you can tell, and I alternated the sizes until I got just about here and then I just did the thin all the way to the bottom. And I just kind of wrapped it like that and hot glued it. Look how cute that is. This is the back. This is where the end pieces, um, cause I wrapped it. I didn't just keep going and wrapping and wrapping. I did an individual one and then cut it down. So, do that like that so what I'm gonna do now is take um, a lighter and I'm just gonna go around you can see I kind of already did that one and I'm just gonna it's not really gonna do too much but I'm just kind of gonna fray the ends I just want to give it a little bit of a rustic look and I'm just gonna go around the, the base You gotta be careful too that nothing's flammable. I'm just going around. It adds just a little bit of darkness there. You can kind of see it there. Just to give it a rustic look. And then at the end on that where we glued it, I went ahead and frayed that to just hold it in place a little bit better. So cute. 
Isn't that the perfect size, the perfect look? I will say it added some um, weight to it, which is okay with me. Um, if you're going to put this on a tree, I maybe want to hang it as an ornament. I would probably kind of like place it in the tree. Um, it's so cute. I love it. it. I actually like it better than the one at Hobby Lobby that I was inspired by. So anyways, we're going to move on now to painting this bad boy. So what you're going to need is colors of your choice. I have a couple different orange ones here. This is pumpkin orange and jack-o'-lantern orange. And then I have some yellow, a khaki, no, this is antique gold. And then just like a khaki and a chalk paint that's dark brown. So I'm going to get those ready. I'm like, all right guys, so I went ahead and mixed two of the orange colors and a little bit of khaki to get this autumn orange color. I don't want it super bright just because I don't want it to be like a neon orange. Um, I want it to just be more of like a harvest orange. So I have my, my carrot. Now we're gonna just take a brush. I'm almost gonna do like a dry brush to start with. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the paint. And I think I'm gonna start up here. I'm going to start on the back just so I can kind of get like a groove of what I want. And I'm just going to go in and I'm almost just like tapping it on. And I'm not covering completely. I'm leaving some spots. Just going all the way around. But I want it to look um, kind of vintage but I don't want it to be completely covered I want it to show some of that rope so that's what I got so far I'm just gonna keep doing that starting at the back and this paintbrush is a little bit thicker so it kind of covers two rows at the same time if you don't want that much or if you want alternate colors then use a thinner brush and just kind of tap it on Oh my gosh, I love that. It looks a little brighter on camera, but it's pretty dark. So I'm just going all the way around. I'm going to do this all the way down, and then I'll show you when I start alternating. All right, guys. So here is the little bit of alternating that I did. So you can see I just took a section of the, um, the cord and painted it that pretty orange color and then I alternated going up. This is just the natural rope color but we're gonna go ahead now and start on that. Now I have this khaki color. I got it at Joanne Fabrics and I also have truffle from Waverly which is a chalk paint so you can see this is a mix and this is just the khaki with a little bit of darkness um, from the truffle in it. I think I'm gonna start with this one and see if I like it because I don't want it to be too dramatic. I kind of just want it to be natural. I could just leave it, but I mean, you know, we gotta go all out. So I'm gonna see how it looks on the back here first, if I like it. That's not bad. And I'm kind of just gonna, I'm not gonna, like with the orange where I cover the rope, I'm just gonna kind of be really spotty with it. And show a lot more of that natural rope color so you can kind of see like that. just enough to make it pop but leaving plenty of room okay so we're gonna go down and work on those just all the way through the spaces okay and then we'll put the finishing touches on all right guys so here is the alternating colors let's see it up close so pretty it's gonna be a huge carrot um, it's I think it's pretty in person on camera I'm kind of seeing it looks a little darker there but it came out perfect so what we're gonna do now is work with our raffia that we made and these are some of the strands you can see like I said I put them on toothpicks so they're gonna be easy to pull through or to put on the top of our base these are just some of them okay so we have our base here which we made earlier and so I'm going to get the front of the carrot, which is going to be here, and I'm kind of going to eyeball it. 
and then I'm going to look at the top here. That just happens to already have holes because I was working on something before and I didn't end up using this circle. So I'm going to use it as kind of like a starting point. Um, and I'm going to get, oh my gosh, this hot glue today. Okay, I am going to take my hot glue gun, Lord, stick that in there because I'm kind of going for the center. Now I'm going to take my raffia toothpick that, and because the front, I just want to make sure I'm going right in the middle. I'm going to hold it and push. Hold it in place for just a minute. Now you can kind of see because I had put that toothpick there and I tied a piece around to hold it all together. It just looks like 3D, like it's standing up, like it's part of the stem, which I like more than just sitting there and kind of um, gluing around this way. I like the way it stands up. So you can kind of see that. Now I'm just going to take it and kind of style it how I want it. This is just one piece, but I'm going to start so you can kind of see. Of course, this is just the first one, but generally that's what it was. And then we're just going to build around it. All right. So let's take a dark one. And I'm going to put hot glue all over this stick. Now I'm going to take it, and I think this one I'm going to go towards the back. Push that down. And that hot glue is going to work too adhere and just hold things nice and tight and that toothpick is perfect for the styrofoam but. now this is going to be for me it's going to be like a whimsy carrot Let's see if you can see that i'm not i'm not so worried about it being like um like a perfect like the stalk being like pointy or perfect or anything like that it's going to be whimsical you'll see um obviously you saw that in thumbnail but i'm just gonna kind of Play with these at the end but that's generally what we're going to do we're just going to work around and fill them in here all right guys i wanted to to uh kind of stand so you could see how big the carrot is and how good he turned out called it a he she um so sweet and it's really big i mean it's 15 inches or so but i wanted you to see how i did the top so it's kind of that whimsy and then I just, because obviously some are going to hang down the sides. I like that look. If you wanted and you just wanted to keep it short, you could just cut these off. But I like the way it kind of comes down. So you can see. And I mean, for the piece de la resistance, <laughs> French. Um, we can always add something. We don't have to just stop there. You can always add a little sign here that said like um, Peter Rabbit Cottontail or um, Carrot Market or Carrots by Cents, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to add this to the top because I mean, why not? Um, I just love that. So let's go ahead and add him and I'll show you what it is. Oh my gosh, can you even stand it? Look how cute he is, Peter Cottontail. Oh my gosh, he is so big too, look at that. So all I did was add this pick, this is from Hobby Lobby. I think the tie colors come in blue and pink. Um, it's just a pick, I just put it right in. I didn't even hot glue it honestly, just in case I wanna take it out or use it for anything else. So you can kind of move him higher, lower, whatever you want. Um, but look at that, he's 15 inches. In all his glory, Mr. Cottontail, he came out so good. And I love the way this whimsy looks. If you didn't want like all this hanging off, you can always cut it. If you just want the top um, to be like a traditional carrot, you could always cut that. But I, I like the whimsy look. So there you have it. Um, super easy to do. If you didn't add him, I think it would be like $3 to make this. If you do add him, he was like two two fifty, dollars So it might be $5. But the originals are $24.99 at Hobby Lobby and on sale they're still $16 or $17. So we did it for five bucks. And look at that, really big, super unique. You can theme them, you can do um, add little signs here, um, make them pastel if you want to go with more of like your traditional Easter colors, whatever you like. 
um, let me know if you do it. Let me know if you try it. I really hope you do. Tag me, the OK Creative Kind on Instagram. I'd love to see your creations. Um, and if not, then I will see you back on my channel hopefully soon. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for supporting a small YouTube channel and helping me grow. Um, if you do like this, go ahead and comment, like, I would love your thoughts. Until next time, I'll see you soon.